Ashlyn with MMO Play, and I am here to bring you all the latest updates on MMO News. This week, Microsoft revealed its Xbox One, Star Trek Online launched its latest expansion, Legacy of Romulus, and Team Fortress 2 lets the fans take over the reins of development to produce their latest update. On top of that, Guild Wars 2's Last Stand goes live May 28th, MapleStory celebrates its 8th year anniversary, and Dragon's Prophet lifts its NDA and gets ready for open beta. Microsoft revealed its next generation of Xbox this Tuesday, the Xbox One. They say that it is an all-in-one experience that allows users to stream live TV and use Skype video calling. This bad boy has eight times the graphic performance of its predecessor, the Xbox 360, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and eight gigabytes of RAM. During the presentation, Microsoft said that there will be 15 exclusive Xbox One games within the first year, with eight of them being new IP. The Xbox One will come with a brand new and improved Kinect with 1080p video capturing that allows you to stand only three feet away and it still sees you. Along with these awesome features came some controversial ones, such as the used game lockout. Game installs on the Xbox hard drive will be mandatory. Each disc has a unique activation code that will tie it to your Xbox Live account. And if you try to play the game with a different account, you will have to pay full price for the game again. Along with the reveal of the Xbox came the surprise announcement of a Halo TV series and a preview of Call of Duty Ghosts. They didn't really announce too many games during this reveal, but they did promise for more D3, so stay tuned for that update. Star Trek Online released its latest expansion, Legacy of Romulus, earlier this week. This expansion adds a third playable faction, the Romulans. Along with the expansion came the release of a dramatic trailer of the Romulan speaker giving a speech. The narrator alludes to a disastrous event that has humbled the Romulan people. Now, I'm not one to really spoil things, so if you want to see the full video and find out for yourself, just go to the mmo-play.com website and check it out under the news section. The horrible event will set off a butterfly of effective events throughout the world of Star Trek Online. For we are Romulan! The new faction isn't the only update though coming with this patch. Klingon fans can now start at level 1 and climb up to 50 with the new level progressing missions. Traits have also received a revamp. Players will no longer pick trait points at character selection. Instead, at level 10, the new trait system will unlock. Don't worry though, because your current characters will also be receiving a free respect token to update their traits. For all the patch information, make sure to check out their site at sto.perfectworld.com slash news. Team Fortress 2 gave the community a stab at developing the game, and as a result, we got Robotic Boogaloo, the first community-made update. Fortress 2 is a free-to-play MMO FPS where players team up to complete map objectives like Capture the Flag. Team Fortress 2 is a free-to-play MMO FPS where players team up to complete map objectives like Capture the Flag. The newest update is created by the players for the players. It includes a record-breaking 57 new community-made items, the most in one update. And what are these items? New guns? Maybe torches? Nope, it's hats. And not just any old hat, mechanical hats that span across a number of cultural and professional references such as football helmets and one horn Viking hats. For now, you can only get these hats in robo crates, but starting June 3rd, robo crates will become rare drops, so everyone will have a chance at finding one of these stylish headgears. Guild Wars 2 is expected to release its latest update, The Last Stand on South Sun, on May 28th. This will be the closing update to the South Sun arc, which is promised to go out with a bang, or well, a bloodbath in this case, against Kanak. With this update, you will also need to defend the settlers of South Sun Cove from what developers call a massive final onslaught of rampaging wildlife. Nothing to be afraid of. And to top it off, on June 5th, a hulking monster will appear that will require players to band together to destroy it before it destroys them. The South Sun Cove isn't complete chaos though. Until June 11th, you have the chance of obtaining a new floating companion, the Mini Reef Rider. There will also be limited edition rewards from looting the creatures and chests of South Sun Cove, or from playing Crab Toss. Maple Story celebrates its 8th year anniversary with freebies and lots of them. Can you believe that this side-scrolling action-packed MMO has lasted 8 long years and is still going strong? 
Next on America proudly boasts that 21% of its loyal North American players have been four-year veterans. That's like one out of every five North American player who has played the game for half the game's existence. Talk about dedication. And how does Nexon keep its retention rate so high? They said by consistently rolling out feature-packed content updates and nearly limitless character customization options. Which is pretty much a fancy way of saying we keep our fans entertained with lots of new shiny stuff. And I guess all the freebies don't hurt either. For instance, during the 8th year anniversary, moms will have random chances of dropping anniversary celebration boxes, which contain valuable in-game items, such as level 140 Empress weapons and armor, and more. Players level 10 and up will be able to harvest coins daily to purchase special anniversary gear. And the newbie players can enjoy XP bonus events, which will last throughout the month. Dragon's Profit by Sony Online Entertainment is a free-to-play MMO where over 300 unique dragons roam the lands. As you will fight, capture, train, and ride them in order to unlock their unique skills and abilities. Players also have an extensive housing system, which lets your imagination run wild with complete control of constructing epic buildings. Sony announced that they will be launching open beta soon and has given its testers the okay to finally brag about it. The game has been in closed beta for some time, and during it, its testers were under a non-disclosure agreement. Now that the game is going into open beta, developers said feel free to post, vlog, stream, and create videos. Open beta is scheduled to launch Thursday, May 30th. And for those of you who have, or will, purchase the Dragon Pack, wink wink, you will be able to start playing one day earlier than the rest of us. Alright guys, that's it for this week's MMO update. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe for all the latest information. Again, I am Ashlyn, and I will see you next week. But until then, keep on gaming.